Praise God, praise God. Pastor Teddy Marshall of Word Fellowship Ministries here. Um, uh, uh, I guess this is a Christian artist that many are familiar with. You may not have heard of her, but uh, she passed away recently. And a lot of news outlets are there reporting on you know, like her last words and last interviews and things like that. And she's encouraging and, you know, seems upbeat. And yes, she did, you know, speak about her problems and things. And then you have some of the other um, news outlets who are focusing on her challenges. And she spoke about depression and she spoke about, um, you know, like uh, thoughts of suicide and things like that. And so those media outlets are focusing on that. And although it's not been reported as to why she passed away or what the circumstances were um just the contrast and the different reports gave me some pause and christian artists love the lord encouraging others and it made me think about others who are serving the Lord, others who are representing him, whether in song or preaching or teaching, maybe out on the mission field. And <laughs> according to how uh, one would typically think, you know, okay, well, they know God and they're good. They're okay. And oh, they're smiling and all right. And they're, you know, they're trusting the Lord and they're sharing his word. And it gives the impression that all is well with those people. They don't need the encouragement, you know, because they got God and they're professing God and, you know, all is right with their world. And, but you know, there are those moments for everybody. And what's on my heart is that God wants us to know that we're to come to him with everything. We're to come to him in the high times to celebrate, yes. We're to come to him in moments of low times of discouragement and distress and dismay, yes. We are to come to him on behalf of others, interceding and praying. Yes, we are to share. We share him with um, uh, uh, others who may be discouraged at any particular point in time. Yes, we do that. Yes, we have a smile on our face. Yes, but there are those times where the helper needs help. There are those times when the encourager needs encouragement. There are those times when the seemingly very, very, very strong, and you may be, but there are those times where you just need someone to just come alongside you. So yes, we know God. Yes, we're trusting him. Yes, we are praising him. Yes, we are singing songs. Yes, we are um, standing in the gap. Yes. And then there's the scripture that says, all who are heavy laden you know, and burdened and you know, come to him and he'll give you rest and, and okay. And we do that. But let's not leave out the part where God has manifold ways that he has help for us. He is our help, our ultimate help. But he will also counsel in going to get help. He will also counsel in whose um, mouth or whose heart, because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, whose heart has he put um, the answer that you need? Who will speak that thing? Who will allow you to go there for a moment, meaning vent, <laughs> and then bring you back around to him? When we have those moments and we come to him when we're heavy laden and when we're burdened and discouraged and stuff like that, it doesn't, that scripture is not saying that's all there is, just come to the altar. That's all there is, just sit in your house and pray. Yes, we do that. But listen for what he, what else he has for you in those times. Think of it in times of intimacy, times of Lord God, this is what's going on and I need your help. Lord God, I'm tired. Oh, God, send, send help. Where can I go? Lord God, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, where can I go? It may be to, to reach out to a friend. It may be to reach out to a fellow servant of the Lord. It may be like your pastor, um, uh, Christian counselors. I know a lot of ministries and churches have um, special um, ministry areas for things like that. It may be for you to get clinical help. Go to God, yes. That's the first place. 
that's the best place. That's the ultimate place. But don't just go there to just spew off some stuff and then get up and say, okay, well, I'm good. I, I went to the Lord. That's it. Ask him, Lord, how do I proceed? Lord God, what do I, what do I do? How do I go? What, what happens now? Lord God, how do I get out from under this? Lord, the enemy is coming and he's hitting me, he's bombarding me. Or maybe that you're weary from, um, you got a few battle scars from being out there on, uh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> on the battlefield working for the Lord and a uh, prayer warrior and things like that. And there's a, a few dents in your armor <laughs> and it is okay. Don't you pick up condemnation from the enemy trying to make you think, well, if I'm feeling this way and I'm serving the Lord, something must be wrong with me. Oh my God. No, that's his trick. Now, no, I'm not saying that this particular artist or anyone in particular, you know, uh, 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 make, making assumptions as to this is what happened to that person and this is what's going on. No, but what I am saying overall to the body of Christ, to the servants of the most high God, we are not called to go this thing alone. We are not called to stand by ourselves and, and put up that, you know, that stiff, stiff upper lip. And inside we're quivering and falling apart. Lord God, I come to you. You are my help. You are my counsel. You are my God, my protection. You are my provider. What say you, Lord God? What do you have to say to me? Where, how do I proceed from here? Where do I go to get help? And then obey. This brings me to Psalm 23. And I'm going to read it from the New King James Version. Um, yes, this is one that if you, um, that is pretty much memorized. It's a uh, scripture text that's on like a funeral. They give those little cards and that'll be on there. The 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So the Lord comforts, the Lord guides, the Lord feeds, the Lord provides, the Lord heals. Yes, and he has many different ways that he manifests those things, the promises of deliverance, the promises of um prosperity and wealth which is not just getting more money more money more money no the wealth is our well-being the fullness of us putting God wants us to put everything about us in his hands and trust him to lead us in how we can get to that better place in him how we can be strengthened how we can be healed and then obey his instruction never putting those things ahead of him, always understanding that he is the it. The it. <laughs> he is the counsel. He is the healing. He is the wholeness. We just go to him to find out, okay, God, what's the recipe on this? What's the instruction on this? What's the strategy on this? And then we go and we do. We obey and we worship him along the way. We press through with praise. Lord God, I thank you that you have your sure way that you're leading me and with your staff and your rod and you're comforting me, Lord God. And I thank you for the person, the place, or the thing that you have selected for me that's going to assist me in getting to that place of well-being and wholeness that you have charted for me, established for me. I give you all the honor and glory, Lord God, and I lift your body to you, specifically at this time, your servants, that they will always know that their peace, their comfort, their strength is in you. You are always with us. In Jesus' name, amen.